It's time to get up off the couch now and it's time to work out. We're going to have a great workout today. Today I call it upper body blitz. So we're going to focus on the upper body, but don't worry. We're going to get some lower body in there too. All right. It's really a beautiful day here in Key West. I'm glad that you could join me. Let me know where you're tuning in from and leave me a comment in the comment section so that I know where you're tuning in from. Anywhere from Stockholm to Stock Island. I love it. You guys are awesome. Also, if you're watching me on YouTube, make sure you hit that subscribe button because it really, really helps me to bring you better programming. Thank you to all my subscribers as well. We're going to get warmed up. Let's just start moving around, moving back and forth. That's right. Again, my name is Taz Shepard. Yep, Taz Shepard. I'm an Ironman triathlete. Wow. An ultra marathon runner and a fitness instructor right here in Key West, Florida. But you don't have to be any of those things to do these workouts that I bring to you. I bring to you a couple of workouts a week and I really appreciate you working out with me. Let's move side to side. If you have a mat, grab that mat or a towel. If you have some weights, grab your weights. If you don't have any weights, grab some soup cans. I bet you didn't know this, but I lost 50 pounds jumping around in my island room using dog food cans for weight. So it's totally possible. Today also, stick around for the end of the video. I'm going to teach you how to lose 5 pounds in 5 seconds. Whoa, what's that all about? Alright. Let's go ahead and take a big deep breath up. Let's stop right here. Take a big inhale up. Exhale down. That's right. Nice big inhale up, reach for the sky, exhale down, again, pick it up and down. As I said, I call this workout a upper body blitz. We're going to be working on the upper body and still doing some lower body engagement. Up. That's right. Upper body blitz. Just a little bit more warm up and then we're going to go into some bicep curls with dumbbells, okay? It's a warm one here in Key West today. The heat index is about 99 or 100, just the way I like it. Here we go. One more set of jacks. Let's go, three, two, one. Jack it out. Strong. And breathe. Let's go. And it's eight, seven, six, five, four strong, two, and one. Good job. March it out. I want you to think look at that heart rate monitor. Wow. Think about the weights that you want to use for those bicep curls. All right. Let's grab them. We're going to do three sets of 16. Bicep curl. All right. Let's get a good strong stance. Power stance. Roll those shoulders up, back, and down. Put your shoulder blades in your back pocket. Your abs are in to support your lower back. All right. Bicep curls. Let's go. Bring it up and down. And two. Down. Three. Good job. Four. Beautiful. Five. Six. Come on. And you're halfway there. You're going to do two more sets of 16. Four more times. Let's go. And it's four. And it's three. Two. Last one. Take a break. Now, if you want, you can pick up some other weights. Pick up something a little heavier. All right? Second set of bicep curls. Three, two, one. Let's hit it. Take it up. And down. Two. Remember, I want you to have nice, soft knees. Don't lock them out. And down. Come on. Super strong. Get those elbows close to your body. 
You're halfway there. Give me eight more. Come on, eight, seven. Now, if you want, you can single them out. Five, give me four more. And it's four. And it's three. And it's two, core solid. One, we have one more set. Put them down, shake it out. One more set of bicep curls. Make your weight selection. Let's go. Three, two, one, let's go. Bring those elbows close to your side. Super strong, chest is up, chin is up. That's right, remember how strong you are. Guess what? You're twice as strong as you think you are. Six, seven, eight. Come on, eight more, and it's eight. Seven, six, five, you got it. Four, and three, and two, and one. Good job. That was three sets of bicep curls. Now, shake it out. We're going to have three sets of lat raises. Those are the ones to the side. Okay? Here we go. Roll those shoulders up, back, and down. Put your shoulder blades in your back pocket. Think about your posture, okay? Keep those abs in to support the lower back. I want you to lift using your elbows. All right, now let's just talk about form for a second. I want your shoulders to be the highest point. I want you to lead with your elbows and your wrists are below the elbow line. So, 16 times, let's go. One, and two, nice. Three, four, digging deep into those shoulders and those lats, come on. Six, seven, we got three sets of eight, uh, 16, that's right. Here we go, eight more, seven, Six, five, four, super strong, three, two, and one. Take a short break. Now, for the second set, if you want to pick up something heavier or lighter, you can. If you want to add a diagonal lunge, you can. Three, two, one, 16, let's go. Take it down and up, down and up. Come on. Here's number four, five, Six, seven, you own this. Eight, give me eight more. Eight, seven, six, super strong. Five, come on, four, come on, three, two. You still have one more set. All right, take a break. Shake it out, shake it out. One last set of lat raises. You don't even have to use weights if you don't want to. You ready? I'll take that as a yes. Let's hit it. Four, three, two. Take it up. One, two, three, four, five. Gorgeous day here. Six and breathe. Seven. Exhale on that effort. Give me eight more. Eight, seven, six more, and you never have to do it again. Come on. Four strong. Three, two, and one. Nice. Remember, let me know where you're tuning in from. Leave me a little message in the comment section. I'd love to know where it is everybody tuning in from. Okay, we're going to do some squats with a front raise, um, some push-ups, and then a plank, and then we'll move on to our second upper body um, exercise. So with the squat, we're going to take it out a little bit wider than we normally do. We're going to take it down, raise, down, up, raise, and down. So it's squat with a front raise. 16 times. Four, three, two. Take it down. Come on. Up. Down. Good. Up. I want you to keep that belly button pulled into your spine. When you come up, don't lock out those knees. Come on. Super strong. And up. Take it down. Nice. And up. Remember, front raise when you're down and lift. Up and lift. Good. Come on. And up. Take it down. And up. You have about 15 seconds left. Don't you dare give up. You can do this. I can do this. You can do it. Come on. Remember, it's 100 degrees out where I am right now. <laughs> but I love it. If I'm not sweating, I'm not working. I love it. Come on. 
Two more. Last one. Uh, and up and down. It's gonna come down for some push-ups. It's gonna be knees or toes. All right. And give me a set of ten. Okay, we're just gonna do ten to start out with. Because we're gonna do a lot of push-ups today, okay? Three, two, one, ready to go. Ten. Take it down and press. Two. Press. Three. Four. Come on. Five. Bring that chest down to the floor. Six. Seven. Eight. Two more. Two strong. Four. Exhale. Great. All right. Bring you back up. We're going to come in for a plank. Are you ready? Yeah, you are. We're coming in for a plank. It's a regular plank on your hands, on your elbows. You decide one minute. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's hit it. Go. All right, elbows under shoulders. I want you to engage your core. Everything's in a straight line from your nose to your toes. Suck your belly button up into your spine. Come on. It's only one minute. Anybody can do anything for one minute. Now, squeeze your glutes. Tuck your hips in towards your chin. Suck your belly button up into your spine. You're halfway there. Give me 30 seconds. Let's go. Beautiful day for a plank. Come on. Love plank. Keep everything engaged and breathe. Come on, don't give up. If you took a break, come back in. 10 seconds. Four, three, two, one. Good job. Put your knees down. Place your foot in front of you. Hands on the quads. Roll it up. Nice work. Next set for your upper body. We're going to do some tricep dips. You can do this on a chair if you have one, or you can lean back on the floor and do this. We do tricep dips and then we're going to do some deadlifts. Okay? Here we go. We're going to do three sets of 16 tricep dips all in a row. Take a look at that heart rate monitor, see where you are. All right. Remember, you're going to keep your shoulders away from your ears. You're going to bend your elbows and lower your body down. 16, 3, 2, 1, go. And it's down. And press. Two. Good. Three. Four. Five. Press. Six. Let's speed it up. Seven. Eight. And it's eight more. Eight. Seven. You can lift the legs. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two, one, good job. Stand it up, shake it out. We're working the back part of your upper arm. This is called the triceps. So it keeps waving even after you stop waving. Hopefully not. We're gonna work those triceps. Ready for the second set, 16. Bring it on down. Yes, you can, let's do it. Hit it. One, two, three, breathe. I want you to exhale. Six, seven. Eight. Come on, you're halfway there. Six more. Boom. Four more. Exhale. Two. Two. And one. Perfect. Bring it back up. One more set of tricep dips. Then we're going on to see deadlifts. You got this. Gorgeous day, I'm telling you. Thanks for tuning in. I love doing this with you guys. I really appreciate everybody that does tune in and subscribe to my YouTube channel too. It's really awesome. Thank you so much. Here we go. Last set of tricep dips. We feel and hit it. One, up, two, three, four. You need to be able to lift your body weight up. Six, seven, eight more times and you never have to do it again. Seven, six, come on. Four, boom, three, two, 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 and one. But you didn't know I couldn't count. I'm a musician, can't count past four very well. Here we go, let's see, we've got deadlifts here. Pick up something heavy, two weights, two laundry detergent bottles, whatever you got. 
All right, let's talk about your stance. Feet, right there. About a dollar bill distance apart, okay? You're gonna roll those shoulders up, back and down. You're gonna engage that core and squeeze your butt. Squeeze your glutes, all right? You're gonna bring these weights from the top down. This is deadlifts from the top down. You're gonna slide them down your thighs. Looking ahead of you, look into your pool. Now bring your body up, squeezing your glutes and finish with your hips over ankles, okay? Perfect finish. And shoulder blades in your back pocket. 16, let's go. Three sets of 16. One, and up. Two, and up. Three, remember posture. Come on. Four, look ahead of you. Look ahead of you on the floor. Just a little bit. We have eight more. Eight, and bring it up. Let's go. Really good for your core, your hamstrings. If you're runners, deadlifts, come on. Good for those hamstrings. Let's go. Here we go. Stay strong. Pick it up. Four more. Exhale. Three. Remember, finish with hips over ankles. One. Good job. Take a short break. If you want to pick up something lighter, something heavier, totally up to you. Second set, we have this and one more set. Three, two, one. Remember that form? Short leg, back pocket. Gauge those glutes, go. And up. And up. Two. Three. Nice. Four. Seven. Remember, exhale, when you lift. Come on, bring it up. You got this. Give me four more. Four. Three. Two, squeeze. And one. Beautiful. One more set, and then we're going to the floor. Okay? We're going to do another floor. Well, some floor stuff. Here we go. Deadlift, let's do deadlifts for now. And look ahead of you, feet dollar bill apart, soft knees and lower, and up. Two, three, four. Finish with those hips over ankles. Abs it. Squeeze the glutes. Exhale, eight more times. Then it's eight, huh. seven, six, Five, lift, use that core. Four, three, nice. Two, and one. You have one more set of these deadlifts, okay? Shake it out. You want to pick up something heavier? You can. Here we go. Three, two, one. Pick it down. Down, and lift. Two, Three, four, slide those weights down your thighs, look ahead of you, and six, lift, you have eight more, eight, seven, come on, you got this, five, hips over ankles, four, beautiful, three, Two, get ready to go with a side lunge. Good job. All right. I'm going to do some side lunges with an upright row. I call this one, call this one starting your outboard. Okay? Let's take a breath. I want you to grab a light, medium weight. You're going to step to one side. All right? Bend that knee on this side. The other side is straight. You're gonna come down to the floor, straighten it up and lift to an upright row. Leading with that elbow, weight above the line of your chest, okay? Starting your lawnmower or that outboard. Ready, 10 on each side. Three, two, one, ready, go. And then down. And one, two, across that body. Three, four, side lunge. Five, six. Seven, eight, 
and 10. Let's do 12, all right? You can do it. Two, good job. Other side. Remember, step to the side. Uh, again, starting that low and more. Three, two, one, ready, go. Take it down and lift above the line of your chest. Lead with that elbow. Upright row. Come on, give me eight more. Eight, and then we're moving on to those push-ups. Six, five, lift. Last two, super strong, last one. Nice work, you own it, you own it. Just when you think that you can't do any more, guess what, you only have about 10 more seconds left, okay? So, let's go down for those push-ups. Knees or toes, totally up to you. We're gonna do 10, all right? Here we go, yes you can, three, two, one. Ready to go, take it down, add up, two, Three, press, four. These are so good for your chest and your core. Exhale, give me two more. One and two. Beautiful, good job. Come back up. We're gonna do a plank. I'm gonna be up on my hand and we're gonna tap our shoulders, okay? Here we go, it's gonna be for one minute. We're gonna tap for 15 seconds and then hold 15 seconds tap and then hold. You'll get it. You can either be on your elbows or your knees. Here we go. Three, two, one. Set it up. Let's go. All right. Super strong plank. Hold for that 15 seconds. Now tuck your hips in towards your chin. Look straight down. Level out the head and the neck. Here we go. Tap your shoulders. Side to side. Here you go. Hold that core solid. You can go fast or slow, any way you want to do it. Come on, breathe. Now hold that plank, 15 seconds. You can do this. That's right. One last time, 15 seconds of shoulder tap. Tuck that belly button up into your spine and go. And breathe, tap the opposite shoulder. Try to keep that core solid. Come on, four more, three more, two, and one. Good job. Walk your hands towards your feet and your feet towards your hands. Big inhale up and exhale down. Nice, we got one more set, okay? I'm gonna call it a day. We've got some shoulder presses overhead and some back flies, and then squats, push-ups, and more planks, and it's a, it's a done deal. Remember, stick around to the end of the video. I'm gonna teach you how to lose five pounds in five seconds. Got your, got your interest there, right? Here we go. We're gonna do this overhead shoulder press. I want you to get your feet in a nice power stance, okay? Keep those knees soft, roll those shoulders up, back and down, put those shoulder blades in your back pocket, suck your belly by mid into your spine, squeeze your glutes, lots to think about. We're gonna press it overhead 16 times. Here we go, and it's one, two, three, four. If you want, you can turn it and tap it in the center. Six, seven, nice, eight, come on. Seven, six, five more. Exhale. Two, two, and one. Good job. Now, send it, send. You want to pick up something heavier? You can. All right. Second set. Three, two, one. Push your overhead. Let's go. One, two, three. Four, nice. Five, abs in. Six, seven, eight. Eight more. Seven. And it's four. Three, two, and one. Good job. 
One more set. Here we go. Last one, and you never have to do it again. You ready? I'll take that as a yes. Ready, go. Push. One, two, three, four. Shoulders. Oh, they're burning. Five, six, seven. Abs in. Eight. Eight more times. Then it's eight, seven, six. Come on. Five. Four. Super strong. And that's four, three, two. And one, good job. You own it. Nice work. Beautiful. Now we're going to do some back fives. So you're going to have some weight and leaning over slightly and squeezing those shoulder blades behind you. Three sets of 16. As I, did I mention that it's about 100 degrees out here? I love this sweat. It's a good thing. Are you ready for those back flies? Here we go. Nice soft knees. Abs in. Leaning forward slightly. Squeeze those shoulder blades. Three, two, one. Let's go. One. Two. Three. Good. Four. Five. Six. Good job. Seven. Eight. Hug the tree on your way down. Big explosion at the top. Squeeze. Six more of them. Come on. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. All right, put them down, shake it out. Two more sets of back fly. All right, here we go. You rock, let's go. Three, two, one, ready, go. 16, one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight more times with you, and eight, seven. Squeeze those shoulder blades. Come on, five, lift it up. Four more, three, two, last one. Good job. Hold down, shake it out. Round it out. One last set of back flies. That's right. Here we go. Bend your knees, pick up those weights. Remember, lean it forward. Suck those belly, that belly button up into your spine. Nice soft knees, super strong. Last 16, let's go. One, two, three, beautiful. Four, I want you to really squeeze. Boom. Exhale, eight more times, come on, eight. You're twice as strong as you think you are. Come on. Four more. And that's four. Three. Two. Two. Give me another one. Two. And then one. You got it. Nice work. Nice work. I told you, you rock. So one more set. Squat. There's push-ups and a plank, okay? All right, good job. You guys, check that heart rate. Always make sure you check your heart rate to know where you're working, you know? Sometimes you might think that you're working harder than you are or that you're not working as hard as you think you are. Heart rate's a wonderful thing. Here we go. We are going to do a sumo squat with an upright row. Grab those weights again. Okay, the sumo squat, we're going to step it out wide. It goes out wide, only one set. It'll be about 16 of them. Roll those shoulders up, back, and down. Squeeze your butt. Three, two, one. Let's go. Take it down. Lift it above the line of your chest. Down and up and squeeze. Down and up and squeeze your butt. Come on. Come on. That's it. Squeeze. Eight. Eight more. Eight. Seven. Six. Five, that's in. Four, three, two, 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 and one. Nice. All right, taking it down for that last set of pushers. Now, if I told you at the beginning of this video that I'd have you doing 
30 or 40 push-ups, you would have said, no, nah, I'll do that on another day, Taz. Guess what? You only got 10 more to do, and you've made it. Let's go. Take it down. No present like the time. Let's hit it. Three, two, one. Ready? Go. Take it. One, two, exhale. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Give me two more. Come on. One, press. Two. Let's get two bonus. One, two. Perfect. Nice, nice work. We're going to do another plank, okay? This time it will be the side plank. We're going to take a side plank. Bring one weight with you if you'd like to. Let me arrange this here. We're going to come down for 45 seconds. Side plank. Right here on this side. Elbow under shoulder. Level one, you're going to have your knee bent right here, okay? And you're going to come up. Level two, you're going to come up and you'll lift that top leg. Level three, you stack those feet. Get ready in 10 seconds. So hold it for 45 seconds. No present like time. Let's do it. Three, two, one. Bring it up. Now, I want you to squeeze your glutes and engage everything from your nose to your toes. Very good. If you have that weight. You can lift it above you, set it down, come up at the feet. Or you can reach your hand around and touch your back. Or touch the floor behind you. Lots of options with these side flights. Just stay engaged. That's right. 20 seconds left. If you're lifting the weight, resist it. Both directions. Good job. Come on. Three hippopotamus, two hippopotamus, one. Good job, and bring it down. We're going to the other side. Last one. Glad that you could join me today. Thanks for tuning in. Here we go. 15 seconds, we're gonna bring it up for 45. Last one. Three, two, one, bring it up. That's it. Good. Engage everything, like I said, from your nose to your toes. Squeeze your glutes, lift up through your hips. If you have that weight, you can just hold it there if you want, or you bring it down and up, or you can wrap your hand around the front of your body and touch your back. Lots of options. Or you can touch the floor behind you. You can do that, hang in there. Just when you think you can't do another one, guess what, you only have 10 seconds left. You can do this, breathe, come on. Four, hippopotamus, three, hippopotamus, two, and one, you own it. Good job. Bring it around to a seated position and take a deep breath up, inhale. Bring those hands together up over your head. Exhale down, bring them behind you. Grab your hands behind you and push down. Open up your chest, good. I'm going to bring you back up to a standing position. But let's go ahead and circle sweep your arms around. Find that tabletop. Good job. Put your foot on the floor in front of you. Hands on the quads and roll it up. Nice work today. That's, all, that's a good upper body blitz is what I call that one. Thank you for tuning in for me today. And you know what? I'm going to tell you that secret. Five pounds in five seconds really comes from your posture. I want you to really think about your posture. I want you to roll your shoulders up, back, and down. Keep your abs in. Keep your hips over your ankles. And then when you look in the mirror, you'll see that you've lost five pounds in five seconds. Make sure you hit that subscribe button on my YouTube channel, which is Taz Key West Fitness on YouTube. I am Taz Key West on Instagram. I'm Taz Key West on Twitter. Guess what? I'm Tash Shepard on Facebook. I really appreciate you tuning in and working out with me today. That means more to me than you know. So thanks so much and keep active, keep healthy, and I'll see you next time.